Hey everyone, Allegorix here, just checking in with a quick update from Battlestate Games for Escape from Tarkov. Their technical update patch has begun. Servers will be down for about three hours, perhaps longer if they need more time to implement the patch. Just a list of fixes here. Looks like a few good things. Fixed incorrect ammo penetration and damage calculations in some situations. Um, I am honestly not sure what situations these might be. However, it makes me a little bit uneasy regarding whether or not I have been in that situation. Are people dying when they shouldn't be? Are they taking too much damage? I do not know, but I'm glad they're fixing that. The ability to inspect and modify unexamined armor lying on the ground. Good fix there. I did actually encounter that one time. It was a little bit annoying. All right, fix the incorrect behavior of rogues when defending the water treatment plant buildings on Lighthouse. Just an AI update there. I think what they were doing was grouping up in and funneling like away from the player. It was a weird bug. I'm not sure exactly. Big, 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 big update here. Love it. So I guess this means they are not removing the snow yet. Some people were saying that snow might be removed, but they are reducing the loudness of footsteps on snow. Thank God. I can barely hear myself think when I'm sprinting in the snow. I know a lot of people were not even wearing headphones because of this. So good change. Fix the inability to complete some quest conditions. Good fix there. I don't know which ones they're talking about, but that's good. An issue that caused infinite loading into a raid when playing as a scav in some situations. My friends and I have run into this actually a good handful of times. I am very glad they are fixing this. You basically had to Alt F4 and load in multiple times until finally it did not let you load in anymore and you lose the scav completely. Visual effects of bloom and sun glare on all locations. That's great. Interchange color correction. That is great. Lack of fog and optical sights in some situations. Good stuff. So a lot of visual things here. The inability to pick up some items, including quest items. Thank you, Nikita. I am sure I'm not the only one who has run into this issue, having to pick up a couple quest items here and there. Loose loot laying on the ground. Big pain in the butt. Fix the ability to pass through solid obstacles in some situation. I have not been able to do this. I have not seen anyone do this, but I am glad that there is less of an ability for other people to do it. So that is great. And big update here, finally, fixing the airdrop loot appearing as not found in raid. That is excellent. We are finding the items in raid. So I'm not really sure why those are being marked as not found in raid. I guess because the plane didn't start in the raid, so it wasn't in the raid to begin with. I don't know, but I'm glad they fixed it. And increasing spawn points for scavs on the ground zero location. That is excellent. Way too clustered on ground zero as it is. So the more spawn points and the more spread out they can be, the better for that. Um, especially as we get to the point where higher level players are scaving in against lower level new players. All right, so that's going to wrap it up. It was just a real quick video for you guys just to highlight the updates and talk about them a little bit. Uh, if you want to discuss any more or have any questions or if there's something I missed or that incorrect, please let me know in the comments below. Until then, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.